Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lenanich here, and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines Project Dubai. And, uh, wow, I just, uh, gotta start off by saying, um, I recorded a, uh, an entire video here, as you can see, uh, but my mic didn't record. It was set to push to talk, and of course I was not pushing to talk. Oh, no, no, no. I thought it was just gonna record like that, but no. So now I'm going to back to re- uh, I guess you could say re-record my own voice. So yeah, let's get started. So as you can see in the time lapse, I uh, I created a uh, I created the Atlantis or attempted to, and uh, as you can see by this, I have the train station, the harbor, and all that stuff. I'm not sure if there's actually a harbor, but I know that there's a train station that connects here. Um, but yeah, I think it looks really good. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it took a while to kind of work on it, but, you know, kind of get the idea and, you know, to decorate everything because there aren't really any pools, uh, props that I could use as pools, so I don't know. I just I just kind of went with what I could do, and I did add some beach chairs, which look, which look kind of nice, as you can see here. Um, so, yeah, I just tried to decorate as much as possible, but it was kind of weird because I didn't have the right... You know, I didn't have all the assets. I just used this Drovilus Lost Casino thing um, as a building to make it look sort of like the actual thing. But, of course, there's nothing on the Steam Workshop like the Atlantis, no. Um, I used, like, the Walt Disney Concert Hall, the Dubai Shopping Mall, and uh, the Business Park thing in, uh, I forget which city. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's that. It... I think overall it looks nice, but let me know what you guys think, uh, and what I should add and things like that. Uh, what I think I'm going to do now is probably, 
uh, go over here. Let's see. Where's why? Why is he giving me disconnected power grid? There's nothing disconnected anywhere. Uh, no, nothing. Okay, yeah. Anyways, uh, let's get into today's episode uh, as we look through this awesome-looking kind of arc we made here. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess I'll see you guys there. Okay, so here's what we have to work with. Uh, this little area, there's like a marina in real life, and it's probably it's one of the biggest in the world. Uh, but we are kind of limited on space, as you, as you can see here. So what we do is we're going to go out. It's kind of in a seven shape here. If follow my cursor, it goes up and out like that in that general area. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and terraform. Uh, yeah, let's see here. Terraform this area. Um and try and build out the island. I, it's, it's not really an island. I don't know what you call it. It's like a some sort of piece of land that goes out as I use the wrong tool here. So <laughs> I'll just skip ahead to where I actually get this going. <laughs> okay, I finally find the right tool. So now we're getting it out. I had a couple uh, problems with this. Uh, it was not easy at all uh, to, I guess, get the uh, keys even whenever there was a bump in the terrain as you can see here uh it would just it would go crazy like one part would be lifted up so high and then the other part would be like down low into the water it, it was just like it was a it was a roller coaster so i had to figure that out um i'm sorry about that <laughs> um and then i got the shape messed up here but what was weird is when i started to put the key around it um you know that happened with the the roller coaster thing and it was wicked thick. Yeah, it was really thick. And I just, I didn't know what to do about it. So I, I kind of just redid, I made it really skinny. And uh, as you can see here, I'm doing the opposite of what I'm saying, I know. But um, yeah, so that's basically what happened. And I then I was able to get in the uh, the walkways or the, uh, the docks in pretty easily. Yeah. Alright, so now as you can see here, I got this dock uh, formation kind of down, and also we're in a time lapse, so I figured, you know, I've seen a couple of YouTubers do this, you know, d uh, commentate over the time lapse, it works a lot better, um, I, I think it's just, I don't know, let me know what you guys think of this, I, this might be a new thing that I do, where I just record the entire gameplay and then commentate over the time lapse, but still have like maybe the time lapse time lapse with music in the beginning whatever you guys want just let me know so uh yeah as you can see here right now i'm just getting down the basic shape of the uh marina what i wish i could do is actually um get the docks or those paths down to like water level so they're sitting on the water but there's no such thing yet and i don't know if they're actually docks on the steam workshop i haven't looked but if they're excuse me if there are that would be quite nice it would be nice to have them. So I'm just decorating there, kind of making it like a beach club area. We're going to get some concrete over here because uh, it just looks a lot better. And I felt that, you know, the keys were kind of messing everything up, but I think this made it look a little bit better. Um, yeah. So what else? I if there's something on the workshop like a dock, just uh, definitely let me know. And now I'm thinking, uh, yeah, so that's it. Uh, for right now, I'm thinking about putting a resort on one of these islands. I'm not sure. I'm thinking probably put it on this one um, because it's closer to the main city and it will probably have better road connections. Um, so, yeah, let's do that. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to put it on this island right here. So let's start off with getting some buildings that we want. I don't think we want to put any skyscrapers down. Uh, that That's not really for this kind of island. I think we're thinking of some small... Uh, I was thinking of some small um, resort-like buildings, like a hotel or something. Um, so now you can see me just putting in the uh, uh, per perimeter road, um, which actually worked out quite nice. It looks good. And on this island, I think I'm going to have, a f uh, of course, the resorts, but I'm also going to have some residential areas. And I... I don't know. I, I'm either going to go with those regular residential, um, you know, regular residential homes or in the future after this video, I might decide to either go back in and get some bigger, like, you know, maybe apartment like things in there. Um, but I don't know. I'm still deciding on that. And 
here's the weird thing there you see I'm using the Hyatt Hotel it looks great but there's a little sign above it that has like the no road connection and it's like it's so confusing because I'm placing it down it's placed and then all of a sudden it says no road connection and I'm okay no road connection therefore that means it's going to complain about police trash fire department won't come um it's gonna be kind of annoying so if you guys know if you ha have the same uh asset definitely let me know if you have the same problem and if you fixed it because i think it's just a problem with the asset itself not my game um so then uh i was looking at some other things we can place here i checked this uh, i think it's like an art museum out it looks okay but it's kind of floating over the water so i decided you know that's probably not a great idea um in real life, I believe these islands are private islands with the resorts on them. So I think what I need to do here is kind of go back after and get rid of some of these buildings uh, on the island because there's just some of them are just not needed. Um, and I want to make it look a lot nicer and less mass produced here. Like maybe get rid of the uh, Hyatt Hotel. I, I just feel like it doesn't fit in quite quite nice um and m vegetate the island a bit more to accommodate sort of like a you know uh get away from the city i don't want it to be so much of a massive tourist area this is sort of more for the residents so um i might go back in there and change it up a bit but it looks good so far yeah okay what else do we have oh and i also have to say uh when I came back, my game, uh, all the cars, and not all the cars, sorry, the all the airplanes, uh, it was like one of the first episodes where we, um, one of the first episodes where we, you know, set, like, the speed, like, the acceleration and the brake speed, uh, that's all gone now, so it all reset, and it sucks, because there's, like, 20 or 25 planes that I would have to do, so yeah, that kind of sucks. Um, now we're moving on to the Emmert Hills Village, which I've had a very tough time with. Uh, for some reason, the water is just... It's hard to get the water at the right level so that it's dis even evenly distributed throughout the entire uh, entirety of Emmert Hills. And then to have that be like... You know, have it be so it's not flooding in certain areas and make sure it's all the same height so that, you know, none of that happens. But uh, at the, uh, you're going to see at the end of this episode where it's actually all going to, it's going to flood eventually, but not that bad. It goes back down. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, yeah, Dubai FC, we, I think we should uh, change our color here to more of a golden look because I felt like that, f uh, that kind of fits Dubai a bit more. And also, the, uh, since I, since the mods, uh, have been removed they've actually been the the game speed you know how you can change from level one to two to three that's actually been improved uh, level one and level three when I had those mods there used to be absolutely no difference and now it's like it's fast it's actually working in these they're not quite you know as fast as when you don't have anything installed and you just see cars on the highway it's like the beginning of your city but they're going pretty fast um, even though this is a time lapse, you can't really tell the difference, but it, it trust me, it's definitely a difference. And I don't know why. It's if the game automatically gets rid of those mods because of you know they're affecting the speed of the game, then that's good. But then again, there's no like proper error message that says, yeah, this mod is not good, so don't install it. Or uh, like when the when the game starts, there's like an error message always. But there, it's never for, like, be careful, this mod could affect the way that your game functions. As in, um, not, like, rewriting the code, but, like, it just makes it go a lot slower. <laughs> so, yeah, that would be nice if they had that. But I don't know if there's anything out there like that. Um, maybe City Skylines could come up with an update. Or it's something for the mod creators to do. So, uh, anyways, we're coming to an end here to this series, which is, which sucks, but I've had such a great time, and I, um, what we're gonna do to tally up the votes is I'm going to have, like, an online forums, and I'll, um, have everyone vote, and then the one with the most, I'll announce that, I'll have, like, a little trailer, I guess, for the, um, new series, and I'll also have a 
ending live stream for uh, project for Dubai, and I um, yeah, an ending live stream, and then of course the cinematic. And this building, the Burj Khalifa here, looks so realistic compared to the one in real life when we were driving by at night. And so I'll probably what I'll do is I'll take a so for the cinematic I'll take like a car that's leaving the airport here, and uh, you see me find one right here, and you know he's gonna go right to the palm kind of like what we did in the vlogs the terrible vlogs and go right to the um, hotel and then kind of follow my own journey uh, as if I was in uh, this city in city skyline so it'd be kind of cool and as you can see there's some flooding going on it eventually does go down um, but yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for all of your support. This was sort of a different video. I apologize for that. I didn't expect it. Uh, my mic did not record. But thank you again so much for watching. Really appreciate all the support. It's been truly fantastic. My channel has gone past 600 subscribers uh, from this series. I can't wait to see where it goes next. So thank you again. I'll see you guys all in the next one.